हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नर्सिंग प्रोफेशन चैनल दिस इज प्रकाश चंद टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट अर्ली स्टूडेंट्स इट इज़ द टॉपिक ऑफ चाइल्ड हेल्थ नर्सिंग the general meaning of restraint the words indicating restraint means uh, restricting the body movements so restraints are used to uh, prevent the body movements for the various procedure in children and infants some important points we have to keep in mind while applying the restraints or uh, before application of restraint or during application of restraint the <coughs> size of restraint should be appropriate according to the age of the child it should be safe it should be comfortable for the children it should not tight or not too much loose and a very important point during the uh, restraint procedure the restraint should be used in every 15 to 30 minutes for any hazards like scratching or bleeding the types of restraint are mummy restraint elbow restraint extremity restraint mitten and finger restraint or jacket restraint so these are used in various uh, procedures first we will discuss about mummy restraint uh, generally it is classified into two class uh, simple uh, mummy restraint or modified mummy restraint it is short duration restraint first i will tell about a simple mummy restraint it is used for the infant and small child during the examination of head head or neck during the examination of head and neck second important mummy restraint is modified mummy restraint usually it is used for the examination of chest and abdomen chest and abdomen second important restraint is elbow restraint according to the name it is used for the prevention of rest, uh, movement of elbow or flexion of elbow mainly uh, what the child will do if a child has the skull vein nasogastric tube uh, he or she can remove the uh, these tubes so the elbow should be restricted for the movements if the child has it has more important use elbow restraint skull vein nasogastric tube surgery of face and neck cleft lip and palate left lip and palate next important is uh, extremity uh, restraint it is the uh, used for prevention the movement of extremities generally it is used in the iv therapy or urine collection iv therapy and urine collection uh, to it is used to prevent the um, extremity movement next mitten and finger restraint it is the bandage like pad is applied or a pocket applied over the fingers uh, generally to prevent the scratching of the skin in the following cases burn hair ex uh, burn eczema jacket restraint jacket restraint is also used to uh, keep uh, the baby in a uh, single position or the child from falling from high chairs or wheelchairs so jacket restraints also used to movement uh, restriction of the body crib top it is used for the children's are more movable and there is chance for injury so the children's can up the stairs or down the stairs so prevent the movement the child should be keep in bed and the bed is modified by applying a net over the bed so it is also used for the movement of uh, restriction movement restriction of the child uh, so please subscribe my channel if you like my video share this video